Andrew Tate is a scammer who got rich by catfishing lonely guys out of their money. We had the two girls on camera with a keyboard, which wasn't plugged in, doing this. And then I was behind the screen talking to the dudes. He has multiple allegations of assaulting his girlfriend, as well as a human trafficking investigation on him. Don't have my idea. That's right, lock the door, you, you knew I was gonna beat the out of you. He's a business expert that loses people money. That ended up losing 88% overnight, so we took a $340 loss. I was able to get a total of zero purchases. He's been Google searched more than Joe Biden, Donald Trump, and Kim Kardashian. Can you admit your monumental failure? Like a 55 kilo female. I will pick you up with one hand by your titty. You're a hoe. You don't know shit. If I were to come and knock on your door and say, I've decided I have a sexual attraction to twos, so I'm taking your girlfriend. You could do very little about it. This is Andrew Tate. What are you confused about, bitch? When's the last time you cooked in dinner? My slaves, I have a few. Would you be with me if I'd slept with over 50 men? <sighs> I'm a high value woman, right? <laughs> Andrew Tate's childhood stories are interesting. He loves to sell himself as a prodigy child. Apparently at just five years old, he won the Indiana State Under 16 Chess Championship over a 16 year old kid. I was state chess champion age five in Indiana, the under 16, so I was the youngest to ever win it. I remember, I remember I was sitting there, I was sitting there across, I was sitting there across from some 16 year old. When you're like five and a half, that's scary, right? And I remember when I beat him, he cried. That made me happy. <laughs> I was like, ha ha, not so at big five, now. Wait, at five years old, yeah. you were the Indiana State chess, chess champion. champion. In the under 16s, yeah. So I was the youngest to ever win it. So I was, on, I, was way on the, I was on the way to becoming a grandmaster. Tate says a lot of things like this that seem impressive, except as far as I could tell, he's just lying. In the long list of Indiana State chess champions, Andrew Tate is nowhere to be found. In fact, I couldn't even find an under 16 division that allowed five-year-olds to enter. So I just looked up five-year-olds that have won chess tournaments, and I couldn't find one in the whole world. The closest I got was finding a five-year-old that won a kindergarten tournament. So I finally just said fuck it and gave the Indiana State Chess Association a call myself to see if this was true. Hello, is this the Indiana State Chess Association? It is. What can I do for you? In shocker, that never happened because that would be insane. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wondering if, um, you had, uh, uh, in an under 16 bracket, if a if a five year old has ever won in Indiana, the Indiana championship. Uh, no, I really don't think so. I don't think there's such a thing ever existed. Yeah, so that I was just asking because online, do you know who Emery Tate is? I know Emery Tate personally. I played him on several occasions. Of course, he's dead now. But yeah, his son has been saying that he won the the. Uh, <laughs> under 16 year old bracket at age five. So I was just trying to see if that was true. I'm pretty sure that's not true. Oh, okay. So you're just trying to verify whether. Yeah, cause I was thinking that would be like the coolest story ever if that was a thing, but I couldn't find anything. Yeah, well, there's a reason probably why you can't find stuff like that. <laughs> hey, chess.com, you might want to update your article on Andrew Tate. Now, this isn't the only childhood claim that Tate makes that seems less than likely. Tate claims as a baby he never cried, not once. He writes, As the doctor held me upside down by my heels and my right fist in my mouth as I suckled, the doctor pinched my thigh to get a response and I growled, knitting my brow and trying to crane my head up to see who had attacked me. The doctor paled, shocked at my defensive powers. I did not cry. Yeah, not crying tends to be a sign of autism in babies. Imagine being so autistic, even the doctor's scared. Shooting people by day, selling drugs by night. Being a gangster is hella tight. Andrew Tate has become a sign of hope for a lot of young lost men on the internet. I know y'all don't like to think this, but he's very fucking intelligent. You can't be where this man is unless you are. This motherfucker did not inherit any of this. This motherfucker did it from the ground up pretty much. They act like he's this respectable genius. No, his whole thing is that he preys on desperate, lonely men. You see, kickboxing isn't a sport that makes a ton of money. I was 28 when I won my fourth world title. And one day I woke up and I literally just woke up. I looked at my bank. I like, I mean, I just won a world title fight, but I hadn't fought in six months. By the time I paid all my back rent and paid my car payments, all that, I looked at my bank. I had like three grand, four grand in there. And I'm like, 
I'm giving up my entire life and I, I don't even know how I'm gonna live. So he decided to start a camp business where he would rip off lonely dudes. It got to the point where it was easier if I just typed myself. So what we ended up doing was we had the two girls on camera with a keyboard, which wasn't plugged in, doing this. And then I was behind the screen talking to the dudes saying the right things and start dragging money out the internet. This guy's pretending to be a woman for money. Peak masculinity. I'm pretty sure I did the same thing in RuneScape back in the day. I'd pull in, let's say three grand a day, four grand a day. So that, that became my new life, right? I went from kickboxer to a fucking pretend girl on the internet. Yo, the alpha male. We had these guys falling in love with my models. Serious, big time in love, right? And they were convinced they were gonna meet the chick. This is almost where I kind of felt bad. Because they were like, can we meet? I've sent you $200,000. Can we meet? Can we meet? Can oh, we meet? And, and the problem what is- What was the most that one person sent to a model? Total. Maybe million? Yes, guys. Give him your money. This dude clearly will never scam you. I'm famousing these dudes, right? So the guy would be like, what kind, of, what kind of guys do you like? And if he was a young man, I'd say, I can't believe I'm talking to some young guy. All these old creeps are on here. Oh my God, you're so handsome. Why that's, are you even here? So if he was an old guy, I would say, oh my God, I'm finally glad to talk to you. All these young creeps keep coming and talk to me. I want a guy who's serious, who's ready to settle down. Oh. I know older men will settle down. Da -da. Sell the dream, sell the dream, sell the dream. Sell the dream, huh? I wonder what that reminds me of. Do you have four hours a day to copy paste? Because if so, you will guarantee to make money. Yeah. What else could I do with this $49 as opposed to HU, which would be better for my future? And there is no other nope. option. I have a hundred business tips I'm gonna teach you, which will allow you to make your own money instantly. You are in the place where the money resides. You're there, you're amongst it. You're amongst the people who are gonna be the future millionaires and billionaires of earth. Have you ever seen a college professor with an S53 and a McLaren and a Lambo and an Aston Martin standing next to a Porsche? No, you've never seen any of this. Every single spare second you have needs to be dedicated towards Hustlers University. I walk around town with a stark erection, then gave your mom a yeast infection. Selling the dream. You see, back in the webcam days, the dream was a girlfriend, which was just Tate ripping you off behind a computer. Now the dream is Bugatti's. Being a millionaire, a billionaire, when in reality, you're just getting a bunch of low-end side hustles on the internet. That's what Hustlers University is. You will never get rich off this shit. Now, I keep hearing that it's a pyramid scheme. I've primarily heard this from Hassan. Here's how it works. At the top of the pyramid scheme, you have Andrew Tate. Bugatti. Andrew decides he's going to go to two of his friends and he's going to say, hey, I got an idea. I'm a top G. I got a lot of good ideas, but I'm going to pay all these good ideas. And I'm going to tell my free friends that uh, they need to pay me $50 so they can be in on the good ideas. So then they get and sign up for affiliate links and they get three of their friends to join. What Hassan is talking about is just Andrew Tate's affiliate program, the same way Spotify, Apple, or Amazon has one. The way Hassan describes it, you would think that's all Hustlers University is, a giant affiliate link. I've just told you about HU. We do have an affiliate program. You can find out more on CobraTate.com. Yeah. It, it, no, it, it is. So, okay. So it is a multi-level marketing scheme. Got it. Does Hassan do any research ever? All he does is make shit up. Imagine making Andrew Tate look good. Now, Hustlers University is a scam, but it's not a pyramid scheme. It's more of a get rich quick scheme. Hustlers University sells low end hustles as premium ways to get rich, claiming that it will make you over $10,000 a month, sometimes millions. How to turn zero into 5,000, how to turn 5,000 into 50,000, how to turn 50,000 into half a million. How to turn half a million into a million. How to turn a million into more millions. The hustles that Andrew teaches you are things like day trading, copywriting, drop shipping. And yes, all of these things can make you a bit of money, but Hustlers University's way of teaching you doesn't seem very good. That's coming from specialists in these fields. There's videos of professional day traders joining Hustlers University and taking the professor's advice. I'm gonna get into something called options signals. If you guys don't know what options signals are, basically Andrew Tate has his guys and these guys make trades every single day and every single time they make a trade, they put it in a chat. So realistically, if I just follow whatever these guys do, I should be making big Bugatti money. Hey, easy money, right? Well, it turns out the professor isn't very good at his job. We've got a Triple Q $274 put, an AMD $75 put, and an Exxon Mobil $94 call, which is kind of surprising that we're buying a call in this market, but hey, they know what they're doing. Welcome to day three. The professor decided it was a good idea to give us a call play, which I, I don't even understand to be honest because we are in a clear bear market. So that ended up losing 88% overnight. So we took a $340 loss. I'm not gonna lie, you couldn't have been any more wrong about those calls. I mean, I could see it from a mile away. Like as soon as he said to buy calls, 
in this market, I was like, this is going to return red tomorrow. The Hustlers University professors are actually people that I find particularly interesting. They're actually listed on Andrew Tate's course. The first one is Andrew, whose face is blurred for some reason. Maybe it's because he's escaped the Matrix or whatever. We are living inside of the Matrix, and I am Morpheus. Chilling in Dubai. This is what happens when you're outside the Matrix. You're geographically free. But then you got guys like Michael. Who's Michael? It doesn't say. Adam is like a Metal Gear Solid profile pic. Who are these guys? What are their credentials? You can't even click on them to find out more. Is that a blackface Pepe the Frog? Or is he just wearing a ski mask? It fits because he's probably robbing you. My main problem in Andrew Tate's Hustlers University is that in every course he's trying to teach, experts are saying you could find better information online for free. Definitely not even close to a profit, actually made a substantial loss. Would I suggest buying Hustlers University? Absolutely not, because it is absolutely the worst course I've ever seen on dropshipping ever. All the information you can find there, you can find on YouTube, and it will literally be 20 times better. I mean, probably not, because you can find better information out there on YouTube, like actual step-by-step -step videos for completely free. Like, dude, even with copy and paste, day trading investments. Do you have four hours a day to copy paste? Because if so, you will guarantee to make money. Yeah. I first took a look at some of the previous comments that we saw and some of the calls they made. And when I saw they were buying calls i immediately got some red flags because in america like this that's kind of silly like the previous messages i saw of the trades not performing too well looks like in the last seven days they didn't perform too much better now i know this is quite a short period of time but for me this is enough for me to decide i am not putting my real money into this there's already free sites where you can copy and paste people's day trades on etoro you could see the person see their past investments see if their account is up or down they aren't just some dude named Ayush or adam they're people with credentials that you could verify yourself so unless you're just really lonely and need some other lonely dudes to talk to I don't know why you would ever buy this shit. Yo, I'm really cool. Yo, yo, I'm really, really, really super cool. Andrew Tate talks a lot about the winners at Hustlers University, and some of them are making thousands of dollars a month. He references them frequently. 45,000 pounds a month with my e-com store. I inside of Hustlers University, he was 16. He was making 45,000 pounds a month. What else could I do with this $49 as opposed to HU, which would be better for my future? And there is no other nope. option. You are failing yourself if you do not join. There is over 100,000 members inside Hustlers University, but there sure isn't 100,000 wins. In fact, some of the wins seem kind of sus. This guy has cash. What, is he hustling drugs? Isn't this about making money over the internet? How the fuck does he have cash? If you bitch about the course not working or you miss a payment, you get shamed by everybody. The one who messes this up, annoys a professor, doesn't renew their subscription, their card cancels, any stupid then you're gonna regret it for a very long time because there's simply nowhere else to go. I had to unsubscribe to get my mother a birthday present, but I resubscribe the next month. I don't believe that. I don't believe you. And I also think if you were a member of, of Hustlers University for a month and you didn't make enough money to buy your mother a birthday present, you fucked up. So you're probably gonna end up kicked out. They put you in jail? Jail is a role on their Discord server where you can't see anything but other people's wins. You're in Hustlers University jail, which is different. Hustlers University jail is sparse, where we're gonna blast you with endless wins. And the reason you're living in sparsity is because you're a fucking quitter. Keep paying me $50 a month or you're a quitter. <laughs> Maybe I should try that for my Patreon. The War Room is Andrew Tate's inner cult. It cost $5,000 a month and it's not about making you money. In fact, I don't even really know what it's about. In the War Room, you learn how to be James Bond where you can just pick up any weapon. He describes it as the Illuminati, but cooler. The War Room is, is kind of like the Illuminati, but cooler. He makes it sound criminal at times. Like, bro, this probably isn't good shit to be saying when you got sex trafficking allegations levied against you. How powerful is the network? Huh? I'm alive. Are we allowed to talk about anybody else who, who's in there? I, want to, I will never tell you about any of the members, but let's put it this way. I'm still alive, right? So, and, 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 uh, there's been serious attempts on my life. Even his website doesn't tell you much. It's a picture of him in tactical gear with a gun, like he's literally at war. And it says, what can you bring to the war room? Truthfully, very little, probably nothing at all. You are not ready for the war room. The war room is the most powerful network on the face of the planet today, bar, bar governments. Are you trying bar to keep Bar a nation up? state, the war room is, bar a nation state wanting you dead, the war room is the, is the number one enemy you wouldn't want you coming after you, because they will get you. 
We are that good. Wow, this network seems real powerful. They really did a lot for you when you got banned off social media, didn't they? This guy is a never-ending cascade of bullshit. You could see him embellish his stories in real time. It starts off with kickboxing doesn't make much money. I only had three or four grand left in my bank account, so I started a webcam business. Looked at my bank, I like, I mean, I just won a world title fight, but I hadn't fought in six months. By the time I paid all my back rent and paid my car payments, all that, I looked at my bank, I had like three grand, four grand in there, and I was like, talk to live girls. So I clicked on it and there's some chick there on a computer, like, hi, and I was like, my girls can do that. It then turns into, I've done some sketchy things to pay the bills, so I started a webcam business. But I, I, there's a few things I can't say in the podcast. I've done, I've lived a varied life, right? I've done mm -hmm. some things when I had to pay the bills. Right. Like, look, we're going to start a webcam business. You're going to stay, you're going to live in London. I'm going to look after you and we're going to get rich, rich. Then it becomes, I had 70K in the bank, but I owed money to dangerous people and my life was in danger. So I owed some money to some dangerous people. We won't tell that story, but I need the money fast. And uh, I had 70 grand, I needed 100 to stay alive. This is Andrew Tate. He's a salesman and the product is his bullshit. Andrew Tate's messaging on women is kind of a mixed one. He says some outrageous shit. In all cheating scenarios, 100% of the blame is always on the female. Women do not have a business mind. I'm looking for those fucking bimbos who, whose man cheated on them. And instead of sitting there like a good woman, looking in the mirror and saying, my tits are a little saggy and I don't listen enough, of course that's why he cheated. Instead they want to go on Facebook and go, men are the enemy, men are pigs, why did he do it? I can't believe he did it, I'm so confused. What are you confused about, bitch? When's the last time you cooked him dinner? As professionals, we discussed the infidelity of females. And I said that female infidelity is more disgusting than male infidelity. And I think that the world agrees with me. History agrees with me. The Bible agrees with me. The Quran agrees with me. Every single book you can read from history says that females who are promiscuous should either be stoned to death or at least cast out from society. You know, when it comes to people's rights and social standing, history isn't something you tend to want to agree with you. If your man's cheating, it's because you ain't looking after him right. So you can stop going on Facebook with all these other dickhead girls, but oh, I know, I can't believe it. My man cheated too. Because you're all low quality pieces of shit. If your man does cheat, the most stupid thing you can do is leave him. You're gonna leave the man you love, the man you were head over heels in love with. You're gonna leave him and find another man who you don't love who's still gonna cheat on you because you're still a trash bitch. Bruh, just name her. Can you project any harder? I half life like this dude. He's banging my fucking best friend. At least oh, I love him. He cheats on me, but I love him and I stick by him anyway. Now you're starting to fucking sound like a real woman. Andrew Tate is very rich, yet being his girlfriend sounds fucking awful. So I end up with all these chicks just stuck in their house, sitting there, bored, completely in love with me. And of course they don't go out. They're not allowed out. <clears throat> yeah, that doesn't sound very good. I don't know what kind of bitch ass dude is letting his chicks go to the club with her friends without him. No, you stay in the house. You don't go nowhere. You're not, no restaurants, no clubs, nothing. In a few years, I could already see it. This guy be like, why do women only want me for my money? Well, it's not like you exactly have the most charming personality. I still masturbate while eating top ramen at a faster rate in the bigger quantities. It counts as rape when I'm slurping at this unbelievable pace. When I was making this video, I just wanted to goof on Andrew Tate, but he has since been banned from every social media platform, and I just can't agree with that. He's someone who says absurd shit completely by design. So if someone were to come along and decide to take my video and chop it up and use it for something, I don't care. Someone were to come along and make a video t attacking me, da da da, I ain't gonna try and copyright strike. Don't care. Do it. Everyone can do whatever the fuck they want with my shit. So I'm free game, right? So it's entertaining and it's accessible. January 1st is when we began and I am now the most famous man on the planet. He purposely pisses people off so they share him and talk about him. And then the instant he has their attention, he'll say something reasonable. And you're existing inside of a system which is deliberately rigged to make the rich richer and for the poor to stay poor. Yeah. And for, you can sit there and get upset about it. You can sit there and cry about it and say the system needs to change, which is what some people do, socialists, X, Y, Z. But I think that's not, I think. I know that's a waste of time, right? That's futile. The best thing to do is to understand the rules of the game and find a way to win. And you're sitting at home going, oh, maybe, uh, maybe money will just come from the sky one day. 
doesn't work that way. You gotta learn how. This is how he's viral. He says crazy shit. Once they're lured in, he says something that makes sense and people vibe with that. The fact that he's banned for that seems insane to me. Being misogynistic should not get you banned. He has about the same views as most conservative religions. What, are we gonna go ban those? When someone is banned for their speech, you reaffirm to their followers that they were silenced for telling the truth. Now that they're silenced, other people need to pass it's like, now I gotta do it. I got a lot of responsibility. People in the creativity kit, other YouTubers and other streamers who are like-minded, we need to work together to spread this message if you believe in the truth. I thought CoffeeZilla had the best take on Tate's ban. I dislike Tate, but kids are gonna grow up thinking the only weapon against stupid people is deplatforming. Tate's a clown, treat him as such. As for the sex trafficking, although I think it's a good meme and I like goofing on him for it, I don't think it's real. It seems like he was just swatted. Otherwise, I imagine he'd be in jail or we'd have a name of the missing girl or something. I want to know the details. Were you arrested for human trafficking? What, what happened? Yeah, I was not arrested. So what happened is I suffered from a case of swatting. It's very popular with people who are large on the internet. Somebody made a phone call to the American embassy saying that I was holding women at my house. The police arrived. They turned up. They investigated. They realized that nobody was in the house against their will. There was no crime committed. They said, okay, you're not a suspect, but you are a witness to this, along with me, my brother, the housekeeper, uh, the gardener, everybody who was in the premises at the time was labeled a witness. We had to go to the police station for 45 minutes for pieces of paper. We filled them in and we were let go. When you spread misinformation on somebody, you turn them into a victim. You make them look like the trustworthy one. Just stop. So how do I wrap up a video on Andrew Tate? Well, he's definitely a meme and he's definitely very entertaining. I do know how to administer CPR. However, I will not administer CPR unless you're a hot female. This is the reality. If you're some fat dude and you just had a heart attack and I don't really know you, you're gonna die. At times I feel like he's one step away from blaming it all on the Jews. For the sake of YouTube, I'm not gonna say what I believe, in fact, what I know these varying powers, power interests are. But I wanna tell you something that's, that's actually kind of scary about this banning. It all came so hard and so fast that I don't know if they all just follow each other. I don't know if they're all influenced by each other. I don't know if there's someone above them all. A lot of people still think in terms of right and left politically, or they think in terms of China and America from a country perspective. It goes beyond all of that. And these are the kind of things I talk about in my private conversations inside of the war room. But here on YouTube, I'm not gonna say it. For the sake of this video, it doesn't matter who these powers are. Bruh. Oh, is that what the war room is? Just some cult conspiracy? Just say it, it's Ethan Klein's fault. What else can I say? His course sucks and all of his stories are made up. He's the real life version of Saul Goodman. Point is, Bring back Andrew Tate. He's the most entertaining guy I've talked about all year. I don't want to talk about his son again. That guy is boring as fuck. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Tate's rich, tall, strong, smart. Surely he can't have a big dick too. Yep. Sorry. Sorry to break it to you. If you were to see my dick, it would hurt you more than seeing my bank balance. You guys would be devastated. Shout out to the hustlers over on Patreon. Phoebes, Crimson Glass, Zombie Fox, Riveter, Christina Vina, Detective Pika, Mac Monkey, Dring Kobex, Bo Blacks, Necro Valley, Stefan Buildman, and The War Room. Reynolds Hughes, Marissa Lynn, IGP, Hullison, Bold Boy Ajax, Jason Johnson, Your Taxi, Latchkey Goth Boy, Spartan McCowell, Free Spirit Katie, Lore Reloaded, Code 9, Papa Gut, and Evan Do Things. There's so many of you guys now, and some of you have been supporting me for so long. I can't thank you guys enough. Follow me on Twitter. And until next time.